Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve blurry font and different program issues you might be having on your Windows computer. Your programs also appear to be blurry. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by right clicking on the start button. And you want to left click on run. Now you want to type in reg, R-E-G, edit, E-D-I-T, all one word, so it should read reg edit only one E between the reg and the did so reg edit then you want to hit enter if you receive a user account control window you want to select yes so now you want to go to where it says H key current user and you want to expand this view by left clicking the little arrow next to it and now you want to do the same thing for control panel and now you want to do that for desktop and you just want to left click on the desktop folder here and you want to scroll down on this list until you get to something that says Win8 DPI scaling right here and you want to right click on it and then left click on modify you want to make sure the value data is set to 1 here so just want to make sure it's set to 1 no zeros or anything and then click on OK and now you want to scroll down now on the right side you want to click on some blank space inside this window left click on new you want to left click on dword 32 bit value and now for the new value you want to name it log pixels log pixels p i x e l s make sure it's all one word here and you can see i actually can't name it that because we already have one listed here so i'm actually going to delete it but if you guys don't have one it should save it correctly and then once you've made that, so you want to, once you've created it, or if you have one already made, you want to right click on it and then left click on modify. It makes sure your base is set to hexadecimal and set the value data to 78. And then you want to click on OK. And then once you've done that, I recommend that you close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and your problem should have been resolved at this point. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.